One day, passing the film editing lab, I saw the film photo displays by the photography students lining the hallway, and I was really curious about their process of shooting these photos and how they developed them. I'm Tolly, and my documentary partner Alex and I met with a photography student, Tom Chen, and Broward College's photography professor, Teresa Deal, to learn about what inspires a photographer's style and the chemical processes behind developing film photography. How I do what? How you load your thing. Well, first, you have the film. Yeah. You advance it to keep the film sort of tucked in. It rolls it enough so that it's snug. I met with Tom and we visited a local park so I could see the hands-on process of shooting film. And then he told me about his personal style of photography and why he does what he does. How do you, like when you take pictures, what are things that you look for when you, when you try to? I really just think about the edges of the frame. I just ask, what do I want inside the frame and what do I want outside of the frame? I don't think that much about the camera. Like, I'm not, I, I stop being concerned with like making a photograph, but actually be concerned with the person. It's more, you spend time with them and you observe. What are some emotional or psychological things that you think sometimes, like when you take pictures? As, sometimes when I take pictures, I feel like I'm not even trying to describe something that's like visual to begin with. Yeah. I get influenced by other senses that we have. So I... You like associate people with different senses than your yeah. eyes. I mean, you see that photograph, but you don't see like the set. You don't yeah. see the green screen. You don't see the process behind it. You just see the final product. Yeah. yeah. But like, initially it's just something like very natural. Well, I was curious about what is the inspiration behind Tom's photographs. Alex's curiosity led us to the photography lab, where Professor Teresa Dell walks her through the process of developing a photograph the old-fashioned way, from its start to a finish as a positive print. Light base. So where you are right now, this is the photo lab. So this is what we call the wet lab. You know, I mean, it's still the old way we used to do photography. It's really a whole different experience. It really, you can feel it. You can get it into your hands. You can see it with your eyes as the process takes place. You remember the order, right? Mm -hmm. And you close it. And then through a magic act, voila your arms in here and then by having the sleeves in here the light is not getting in so I can transfer everything into I can do my opening my cassette card the film put it into the reel you protect the film by putting it into the tank seal it really good and now once I'm done I can come in here and I can take it and it's already done in here Ta-da! it will create a physical chemical reaction that eventually through a process of developing you convert that latent or dormant image into an actual negative. This is what we call the light table and this is a really really important area for us because everything starts in here within the negative. So this is a good negative. You see that you have information in here, you have details in the shadows, details in the highlights, once you have your negatives, we go into the wet lab, the printing lab. The, the printing, printing area, lab. Right? <laughs> so there's a, there's a certain element of alchemy in what we do in here. Chemicals and processes and transformation from nothing into something. And it's in front of your eyes. Through a physical and chemical reaction, we are going to affect light-sensitive material for the light to go and do its job, to paint with light again. And then from that, you go through the chemical process, the developer will stop the picture, rinse it, come outside, evaluate it. And you see this wall? This is the wall of truth. But it's so cool, I just like the... But I like... isn't that 
kind of really interesting. You see, that's where the light went completely through it, made it black. The longer the paper is exposed to the light, the darker it's gonna get. As to just the bare bones, this is the absolute bare bones of photography, that it is a medium of light. Huh. What do you think? It's so How cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm having so much fun. It is. This, is a, this is like a magical place. Really. It is a magical place, and that's what I love it so much. I mean, I love, I love, I really like it when the students have this experience. There is something so refreshing to go back to the basics. The idea of looking at something, perceiving it, understanding how it works, and you know, and, and letting it affect you.